to lecture nine. This is the second part, and we'll continue to discuss the uh, sequence of Apple products that we started to discuss in the first lecture. And so uh, we'll continue with um, Apple this time and head into uh, Google into the third part of lecture nine. Welcome to the second part of lecture nine, where we're uh, still discussing Apple. And in the first lecture, we went through about how we're going to uh, look at Apple, and we started using our model to look at the first uh, Apple product in the sequence, and that was the, um, the iPod. And we mentioned that it's a very innovative product in the sense, uh, compared to other MP3 players, that they're the only ones that opened up implementation space and considered uh, partnering uh, with music companies and changing the business model. Uh, for music and the business model for people that made devices, right? So, uh, in that sense, um, they're just enough, you know, more innovative uh, than their competitors. But we mentioned they're not fundamental in the sense that, um, you know, it's not like discovering uh, the transistor where it throws off 30 years of all sorts of markets and, and uh, uh, different technologies you could have never anticipated. So let's move on to the next one, which is the iPhone. And here I've now uh, uh, drawn again our model. And the iPhone, let's say right off the bat, in terms of implementation, um, what was not done, uh, or as far as we know, um, uh, you know, wasn't uh, expanded that much probably right off the bat, was because the, the way that the phone business model and partnering works uh, is even for Apple too tough to do what they did in the music business. Uh, now they did have an unusual um, initial deal with AT&T. So in that sense you could say, well maybe this is a little bit wider because that, the way they did that you know, was a little bit different and so maybe it's a traditional model plus a little tiny you know, other uh, option in that they gave AT&T exclusivity, uh, which was a risk for them in the sense that uh, they um, were putting all their eggs in one basket, but I think they were confident that it would change the user experience. And so you could say there's a little bit of that. Uh, again, just like uh, the, um, the iPod, you know, there's certainly traditional phone users and clearly that market is, you know, they're, they're going after phone users, right? Uh, a little bit different again, just like on the iPod, that, you know, uh, because you had the iPod and there's already things developing with music, uh, you could merge these two markets and possibly have more people buy the phone than they would have if they just was a phone. So there's some benefit from the previous innovation, uh, but still, you know, the majority thing here again is it's not like they're trying to end up, you know, in some market like uh, surgery or something. You know, it's uh, still very targeted uh, market application and they're not, they're not working on something so fundamental. They're not exactly sure what kind of product it's uh, going to go into. And of course, most of the, uh, most of the innovation in the iPhone uh, is in the technology circle. So in this sense, it's a much more uh, incremental than the iPod because um, you know, they're not changing the business model of the industry. They're not partnering with cable or phone companies or something to change the way that people uh, receive their, their information. They're using the same structure of the industry and the same charging mechanisms. You know, the the phone is, is expensive if you buy it straight away, but if you go through the service provider, they give you a discount because they keep you on a contract longer, which, you know, blah, 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 kind of the Xerox model like we talked about before for um, uh, uh, um, the, when you have an expensive uh, device, you can, you can uh, finance it yourself as long as you're guaranteed they're going to be doing payouts over some period of time and that the customer has good credit. So, um, so in reality, all those things already existed. So um, they're really opening up unusual options on the technology side where, for example, they, um, you know, the, the, the classic thing is a touch screen. 
that was now what's interesting is they didn't invent a touch screen that's been around since old technology so I keep on emphasizing that in this class that it was an old technology applied at the right time uh, to make this product uh, slightly more innovative compared to the rest of the industry. What it tells you is the rest of the industry is so uninnovative, and this is very common as I told you today, uh, so uninnovative that they're not even putting in any incremental technology really that uh, that um, uh, Apple can kind of make a huge headway here just by actually only expanding the technology bubble. So I'm not arguing that they should have tried to make it more complicated, by the way. I'm just pointing out that for this device, it didn't have to be as innovative as the iPod. So uh, the, you know, there's other pieces in here because, you know, related to the software, the using your fingers to swipe and open up and things like that. There's all sorts of little pieces of technology that Apple innovated in. And so, you know, in this sequence then you would say the iPod was certainly the most innovative. Uh, then we had uh, the iPhone, which uh, you could look at it two different ways. Uh, it's not as innovative, but it didn't have to be because the, the entire market was so stratified. A little bit of innovation by opening up the technology circle uh, and putting in some uncertainty. And remember, this is risk, right? I keep on having to point out that when you open up the circle, uh, it is risk because you're not sure exactly those things are going to come together and give you an advantage in the marketplace. But again, having uh, someone like Steve Jobs who does this process in their head is a huge advantage because it doesn't have to be a group of people. And so someone that confident uh, who has been given power by investors, um, you know, went for it and was correct. So if we move on to the last device that we said we're going to look at, which is the iPad, um, what we find out is that uh, in the iPad case, the, um, the market is essentially uh, a computer user. And what you're going to do is move that computer use it, user to become a, a, a tablet user. So the market isn't really new. Uh, people use computers and you're converting uh, people that use computer to computer application just using a different device. You want to have your device, your new computer essentially, you want to have them use that instead of somebody else's older fashioned computer, right? So it's not very opened up in that sense. Um, although like the other ones, you know, you could argue there's a little bit of a side thing in the sense that uh, if you're Innovative people maybe will use these things um, in a few places where they weren't going to use computers. But it turns out with the smaller laptops and things like that, it's really hard to argue. What you see is that when, uh, you know, like in a doctor's office where people started using computers to input patient data, they carry it around with them. They used to have very small laptops, and instead of that, they use, you know, a tablet. So uh, it's really hard to argue that those markets aren't really the same market and you're, you're just displacing um, what would have been uh, smaller computer markets with, with tablets. So not, not super innovative there. It's not like, you know, again, we invented something that completely changes uh, and, and, and people that were not using computers before, you know, use them. So um, the uh, implementation of this guy is exactly like computer implementation. It's a, it's a supply chains, everything else. There's no new partners. Uh, it's, it's just like any uh, computer re uh, seller that doesn't make the computer its, uh, itself and has outsourced to Foxconn you know, or whoever. So in this particular case, really the only thing that was done uh, was um, uh, the technology space again a little bit like the iPhone recall and in fact 
here's where our model gets kind of interesting. If you consider the iPhone to be an innovation that's already out there, it may narrow this even further because actually the expanding of space we did here is the same expanding we did here. So if you use it in a relative sense, this is even a smaller circle if I reference it to the iPhone because a lot of the, the key technologies were introduced here, right? You know, the, the touch screen, the, um, uh, the swipe, you know, the software. So in some sense, um, you know, you could even argue this is a tiny purple circle because it's sort of, you know, the iPhone. And what you did was you, you know, made it bigger, which is not a huge, you know, technology change. So clearly in this sequence, this is the least innovative. So, uh, and it's very interesting that the company uh, went down this path because uh, if you if you look at the sequence, um, the uh, the most innovative thing was required to penetrate the market. Uh, they use that penetration to go into another market. So the thing that was innovative here is really uh, going into a different market. You know, going into a cell phone uh, market uh, and adding a few pieces of technology. And then uh, lastly, you know, they're already in the computer business, but they now uh, supply a different kind of computer uh, there besides their regular MacBooks and things like that. Uh, and it's a lower price point, so they sell more of them. So it is interesting that over time, they go from the most innovative product to the least innovative product. And of course, that's why their stock price has gone like this, is that people have, you know, first of all, because there's so little innovation out there, there's overinvestment, their stock price went up too high. Uh, none of these are fundamental innovations, so competition comes in and forces uh, them to come down, and particularly Samsung, which can do the same things, and patent protection and sort of unfundamental things is very difficult, and so that's why you saw like, you know, some patent noise, but the truth is very difficult for, uh, we'll talk about intellectual property later, but very difficult for Apple to get, um, you know, what I would call these medium scale innovations, uh, not fundamental. Uh, not not incredibly incremental. This this one I would argue is kind of incremental, but especially in, in, in reference to the iPhone. Uh, but uh, you know, very difficult to get intellectual property, good intellectual property protection on medium scale and, and incremental. Fundamental is the most um, the, the 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 easiest thing to get fundamental. Uh, the easiest thing to get good strong intellectual property on. So. Um, uh, and now, you know, so competition is causing, uh, you know, stock price to come down. Uh, and stock price, you know, doesn't always represent uh, things. But uh, what will continue to happen is, you know, based on this sequence, and if you uh, look at Apple's, um, uh, Apple sales, uh, the iPod is going down. The iPhone is a strong winner. The tablet's coming up, but isn't quite as lucrative as the iPhone. And so... Um, unless they, they actually have done this process where we opened up more again like in the iPod and converge on something new, then uh, it's going to be hard to, 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 to stay in the game and to have tens, 20 years of, of, of innovation value on your stock price. Now, um, there's things that they're kind of announcing like the Dick Tracy watch and things like that. The interesting about Dick Tracy watch is, you know, if you can do something different on the market side and get some new partners on the implementation side. It may be possible to converge on something else, but if it's just a, a uh, smaller version of, let's say, the iPad or the iPhone, uh, it's, it's also going to have sort of a limited um, a life. So uh, that's Apple, and we'll stop there. <music>